Sometimes it seems crazy. You're driving along and you've got your driving lamps on and your taillights come on as they're supposed to and everything's fine. Or you put your brake lights on and your brake lights come on like they're supposed to, everything's fine. But when you put your brake lights on while you've got your driving lamps on, one or the other fails. What's going on? Well, it's almost always a ground issue, but let's see if we can explain it. Now for this video, we've done something I've never done for you before. Normally I have everything all set up before I turn the camera on. I want you to see what I've done today because it's going to look like a trick in just a moment. I have a pair of lamps. Each one has a small lamp and each one has a larger lamp. So this would serve, for example, like a, a combination clearance light and brake light or clearance light and turn signal. The green lamps are going to be the large ones and I've got them married together. So both lights get power together and the reds are going to be the small ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect a ground to this lamp. I'm going to connect it right here on my power supply. I'm going to connect a ground to this lamp and connect this to my power supply. Now they're both grounded. The power supply is turned on. I'm going to get some power by connecting right here. And let's see how everything works. First of all, the small lamps, which are going to be the clearance lamps, are here and they're married together. So when I give them power, you can see both come on exactly the way they're supposed to. The green lamps, or the green wires, are going to be going to what will be like my brake lights, and they come up the same way. If I put power in both of them at the same time, you can see you've got your bright lights on the left, which would be the same as your brake lamps. You've got your clearance lamps on the right, and everybody's happy. Now, let's watch something which is surprising. I'm going to send power to the two small lamps. You can see the clearance lamp on this one is working, and the clearance lamp on this one is working. While they both have power, you know what's happening. Power is coming in, going through the lamp, going to ground with the black lead, and the circuit is complete. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to take and remove the ground from the left lamp, and when I do, the lamp continues to glow. That's why I wanted you to see me put this together. There's no trickery here. I have disconnected the ground from this lamp, and it's working anyway. Now, <clears throat> let's add a couple more things to it so we can get a little more information. First of all, we know that if I add power, even though there's no ground here, both lamps work. I'm going to disconnect the power to this one and I'm going to put power to the brighter lights, the brake lights or turn signals. And when I do, watch what happens. This one, which has ground, comes up like she's supposed to. The other one still lights through the clearance lamp and it's dim. Now what happens if I try to light everything at the same time? I'm going to take and put my connections together and I'm going to power both at the same time. And when I do, what happens? Both come on on the side that's got the ground the way that it's supposed to, but the other side does not function at all. So now let's go back to where we were. I'm going to go back and reconnect the small lamps. Okay, and again, there's no ground on the side. What's happening? How in the world is this functioning with no ground? Now, Sherlock Holmes once said that when you eliminate the impossible, whatever left has to be the truth. Okay, that's what we've got going on here. I have eliminated the ground here. She's not grounding there. So the only way she can ground is through this other lamp, because it's the only other ground connection. If that's true, if I disconnect this one, I should lose that one. So I'm going to disconnect the ground, and when I do, they both go out. Both lamps are grounding through this side. How does it do that? I've got a little bit of a sketch pad here. And <clears throat> let's start with the lamp on the left. We have a power lead coming down to what is going to be a large bulb. Okay, this bulb is going to go over and go to ground. Okay, this is going to be the bright light or the brake light or the turn signal light on this side. We also have a small lead coming down to a small lamp. She comes up, comes over, and she understands shares the same ground. And that's what we have here. Now, we want the brake lights to come on at the same time. So, at the top, inside the car, there's a wiring harness. There's going to be a union. There's going to be a wire coming over here, down, over, and another big lead is going to be on this side of the car down to a ground, and there we go. And the clearance lights would normally come on at the same time. So again, a wire, a union comes over, down to a small ground, small lamp right here, and she comes over and comes up and goes to the same ground. Now, let's think about the small lamp for a minute, the one that's lit up. Power comes in, goes to both sides. That's why both sides are lit. Electricity runs over, runs down, runs through the lamp, the lamp glows, runs up, and she goes to ground. When I kill the ground, it goes away, what happens? 
Well, the wire for the other bulb is still connected here. The electricity runs up, can't use this ground, so what it does is it goes up, goes through this lamp over here, up here, across, over, down, and goes to the lamp over here, which is giving it ground. That's why when I disconnect the second ground, the lights go out. So that's why this lamp works. Now what happens if I don't try to light this lamp, but I light this lamp? Well, power comes in, it's going to both brake lights. She comes in, she comes through, it comes around. The, now if the ground is gone, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna to try to run through this lamp to get ground. However, the brake light needs a lot of power and it can't get it because the small lamp has resistance. But the power it does get through will make the small lamp glow. Let's prove that. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put power to the brake lights. And what's happening? This one's working just fine. But this one over here is just basically she's going through this lamp, not enough to make it glow. That's why we don't see anything. But it is going through the small lamp and the small lamp glows a little bit. Now, what happens if I try to run power to both at the same time? I'm going to do this again. We saw this a minute ago. Now, I've got power coming in both leads. Power runs down trying to get through the small lamp to ground. Power runs through the big lamp to get to ground. And the ground is gone because I've disconnected it. When I do that, she can't ground through this because this is already looking for a ground. She can't ground because this one's looking for ground and the result is they both don't work. Okay, this is exactly what happens in a car. In a car, if they have a bad ground to one of the circuits, okay, that's exactly what will go on. You'll say, I've got clearance lights or maybe I've got turn signal lamps, but I can't have both at the same time. And if I do, something goes wrong. It's always, always, always going to be a ground. So you want to check for ground. This technician has seen this happen hundreds of times. The simplest way to do it is go to the light switch or the fitting, which you're trying to have uh, tested, and just simply take a jumper lead and give it a good ground. If the problem goes away, you know you've got a ground issue. If it doesn't go away, it's probably still a ground issue, but inside the light assembly. So that's what's happening. If you see a case where the clearance light works, but the brake light doesn't, or the brake light works, but the clearance light doesn't, they work independently, but not together. It's a bad ground, and this is what it looks like.